everyone. Hello. Welcome to Super Saturday. I am so glad to see you right here with us again for a time of inspiration, motivation, and encouragement through God's word on today. I'm Pastor Jackie Key, and we're always glad to see you on another Saturday. It's an amazing day and it's one that God has made. So guess what? Let's just go on and rejoice and be glad in it because God has been incredibly good to us. He's been better to us than we have been to ourselves. And it is a reason for us to celebrate on today. You know how we do it on Super Saturday. If it's your first time, let me welcome you. If you are a repeat uh, or you're a returning attendee to Super Saturday, I'm glad you're here. So go ahead, grab you something good to drink. This is my one of my favorite cups. It says, wake, pray, and slay. So go ahead, grab you something comfortable to drink, something comfortable to eat, or just get comfortable if you can. If not, turn up the volume, listen wherever you are, and we're going to enjoy this conversation and discussion uh, together on today. So like, tag, share this message with someone right now on Super Saturday. It's going to be a great conversation and I want it to be interactive and engaging on today because we need the inspiration of God's word. Let me holler at a couple of people that are already in our virtual rooms with us, whether you're joining us on Facebook Live, you're joining us in our YouTube room. Um, also, if you're joining us on our website, livingwithgrace.org and Twitch TV, we're glad that you are here on today. So Apostle James, James Thomas Sr., God bless you. Always good to see you, man of God, with us, and happy belated birthday to you. Dr. Latanya Barber, my sister, thank you for being with us on Super Saturday on today. Yes, it is a day that God has made, and so we're getting ready to dive in and have a great time with God on today. Now, I want you to, before I get to our scripture and before we get to prayer, can I thank the greatest production team, I believe, on this side of heaven, our Grace uh, staff. Let me start off first and foremost with our man of grace, amen, our senior pastor, our founder, Bishop Darius Key. We love you, sweetheart. Thank you for all that you do for Kingdom. Mama Willie. Pastor Myla, uh, Jalen, Josh, the Malik Key, Brian, Marcus, and Inde, thank you for helping us to bring this message, amen, this Super Saturday message to everyone on today. Now, if you have a prayer request, please go ahead, put it in the chat screen. If you are celebrating something special on today, a birthday, an anniversary, um, a something, a milestone. We just want to celebrate you on today and thank God for all that you do. Amen. In your life, for your families, on your job, in kingdom, we just celebrate you on today. So if you have a prayer request, go ahead, put that in the chat screen. I do want you to grab your Bibles on today. Let's go to 1 Kings 3. 1 Kings 3. 16 is where we're going to pick up right after prayer on today. Can I say happy Mother's Day to all of our moms out there, whatever form of motherhood that you represent and that you stand in, let me celebrate you on today. Future moms, amen. I celebrate you on today. Those who are thinking about becoming a mom, I celebrate you on today. All forms of motherhood. We love you and God bless you on today. All right, let's have a word of prayer and then we're going to go right into the word on today. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you. We magnify you. God, we celebrate who you are and what you've done in our lives. We love you, God, because you love us and you loved us first. And because of your love, God, we're strengthened. We have been preserved and we have been kept for such a time as this. Now, God, I pray for families everywhere. I pray for women and men everywhere who need you on today. 
We thank you for what you are doing in our lives and how you are making ways for us and for everything that you are doing for us. Now, God, we pray for those who are sick in their body. We pray for those, God, who are going through some type of mental distress. We pray, God, for those who are going through some duress uh, in situations right now, uncomfortable in their lives. Only you, God, can make a way. Only you, God, can set a clear path before us. Only you, God, can bring ease to troubled minds on today. And so we thank you. We praise you for every God, resolution and answer that you will bring to our prayers. God, I'm praying for Janice Ewing on today. God, I'm praying for Brian Harkin on today. God, I'm praying for those in hospitals and convalescent homes who are behind prison walls. God, who don't have enough. You are our answer on today. You are our salvation on today. You are the way for us on today. We honor you. We praise you in Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen. All right. Well, I want you again, go ahead, like, tag, share this message right now. Stop and do a share. Stop and do a tag. Stop and uh, go ahead and share this message with someone right now. I do believe that this conversation is very important, amen, to all of our lives. And we all need this message on today. Well, I want to jump right in and talking about the anatomy of love. What is the anatomy of love? And I'm glad you asked it because Anatomy is the study of uh, the structure of, of something internal. Let me say it like this. It is a study of the structure or internal workings of something. And I want to tell you that love is a worthy topic for us to study, for us to dissect, for us to uh, talk about because it's so needed in our society and in our world. It's so needed in our relationships. It is the main ingredient that is needed for our families and our churches and our congregations. It's needed in every facet, in every fiber, in every area of our lives. And so we can't really do anything without love on today. So this is important. And I'm glad that we're having this conversation about it. All right, well, let's get to, let me say also good, good day to um, me, Ms. Mint. And let me say good day to woman of God, Sherry Coleman Ba. I'm glad that you have joined us on Super Saturday on today. So I wanna pick up, let me get my, my reading glasses here. I want to pick up right at 1 Kings 3.16. 1 Kings 3.16. And it says, Then came there two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him. And this is King Solomon that uh, the two women stood before. And the one woman said, O oh Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house, and I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass the third day after that I was delivered, that this woman was delivered also. And we were together. There was no strangers with us in the house, save we two in the same house. And this woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me while thine handmaid slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I arose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead. But when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which I did bear. And the other woman said, nay, 
but the living is my son, and the dead is thy son. And this said, No, but the dead is thy son, and the living is my son. Thus they spake before the king. Then the king, then said the king, that one saith, This is my son that liveth, and thy son is dead, and the other saith, Nay, but thy son is dead, and my son is the living. I'm at verse 24 now. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before King Solomon. And the king said, Divide the living child in two. Give half to the one and half to the other. Then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king, for her bowels yearned upon her son and said, O oh, my Lord, give her the living child and no wise slay it. But the other said, let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, Give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. And all Israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged, and they feared the king, for they saw that the wisdom of God was in him to do judgment. And the reading of the Lord is amen and amen. Elder Andre Jerkins, Sr., my cousin, thank you for being with us on today. My sister, Diane Collins Hancock, thank you for being with us on Super Saturday on today. And I want to talk just for a few minutes about the anatomy of love. Here we have a situation. Our scripture opens up with the king actually having a dream. He's in a dream and he awoke and behold, he said, oh my goodness, okay, I just had a dream. I just had a vision of something. I just had some things to happen in my mind. And one of those things that happened in his mind was these two women that had come before him. Okay, you've heard the reading of the word. Two women who were uh, expecting at the same time and who also delivered their babies at the same time in the same house with no one else around. Just the two of them, they delivered their children. And one is, is coming before the king. They're both before the king now. And one is saying, the child that lives is my child because the other woman uh, slept over her child or, or overlaid her child and that child died in the night. So this is my child. And this kind of conversation went back and forward before the king until it was time for him to make a decision. And so he listened to the conversation, Donnie Hudson. He listened to who was was raising their hand, who was uh, making the, the rationale that this truly is my child. This truly is the one that I have born and the one that I have carried and the one that I have worked with. This is, this is my child. And, and the king listened to all of this back and forth and all of these accusations and what the other, the, and the finger pointing and all of this stuff that was going on until he finally needed to take some time for an anatomy of love. And the king said, all right, I've heard, ma'am, your case. I've heard, ma'am, your case. And I've heard all the things that you had to say. Let me begin to dissect this. Let me begin to think thoroughly through what has been presented to me so that I can make a sound judgment. And so Solomon says, I think I know how to test what's really going on here. I believe I know what to do in order to see who's the real mother. Bring me a sword. Bring me a knife. Bring me a machete. Bring me 
something that I can divide this child that lives April Burrell. Thank you for being with us on Super Saturday. Bring me a knife or something that I can divide this living child, this child that is breathing, this child that has been delivered. Let me cut this child in half so I can see what's really going to happen at this point. Because I believe that God gave Solomon the wisdom and the understanding of knowing that when I take this action or when I say to them, this is what I'm going to do, it's going to help to produce who the real mother is. Now, let me stop and pause before I go further, that even in this present day time, in this word that is applied to where we are now. There are situations and there are circumstances that, you know, people are raising their hands, even with with our blended families, even with uh, adoption and all of the other things that are going on. People are still coming to the table saying, well, you know, I don't want you to have it because I'm the real mother. I don't want you to be identified with with uh, one way or the, because I'm the real mother. And so even with these two women, they were arguing back and forward. They were trying to uh, present the case that I'm the real mother. This is the one that has lost the child, but I'm the real mother because I was the one that went I noticed that when I went to feed my child, it didn't feel right. It, it, it Something wasn't right about it. Let me stop and let me say something that uh, my sister, Celeste Christina Williams, I'm glad you're on Super Saturday with us. Let me say this, that things will come to test the love that you say that you have. Things will come to try uh, the love that you say, Pastor Yolanda Buck, thank you for being with us, that you say that I have in my heart for you. But can I tell you that the actions of your words will follow uh, the accountability of what you of who you say you love and what you say you love? Because if you really really love something or someone, you will be willing, amen, to do whatever is necessary to see that something or someone grow. First Lady Larissa Ross Fountain, thank you for being with us on Super Saturday. You will be willing to do whatever is necessary to see that person or that thing grow, to see that, make sure that you can protect it from hurt, harm, or drama. Come on, church. You will do whatever it is necessary. So just because you have birthed something doesn't mean that you exercise love towards it. And the church said, amen. Just because you did not give birth to something doesn't mean that you cannot love it to the point or love that person to the point where they need to be. Amen somebody. So this is for all of us on today, not just for moms, but for men and women everywhere that we've got to get this thing right about um, always saying, I'm the birth mom. I'm the birth father. They belong to me. I'm the one who did it. I'm the real dad. I'm the real parent. I'm the real, we're the real family. Check your love on today. We're talking about the anatomy of love. So what Solomon had to do with these two women is he needed to sit back for a minute and he needed to break this thing down. OK, she's saying she's the mother. She's saying she's the mother. But let me see what this action is going to bring. Let me watch and let me see how they're going to react to this horrific moment. Let me see what's gonna happen when I decide to make a judgment on this thing. And there are some people who are watching your actions today. There are some people who are watching, are you really loving the way you say you're loving? Are you really doing what you say you're doing? It's called the anatomy of love. So let me go further. 
So Solomon finally decides that, bring me a sword, bring me a knife, and I'm going to take this child and I'm going to split him in half. And since you all are doing so much bickering and you're doing so much accusation against one another, let me split them in half. Basilene Wright, my sister, thank you for being with us on Super Saturday. Let me split this baby in half and you can have half and you can have half. Who am I talking to on this Super Saturday? And our families are being split apart and our children are being split apart because of the accusations and because of all the drama that we're bringing and all of the things that we're, we're doing, amen, in our families, in our relationships. But Solomon said, bring me the knife. I'm going I'm to handle this right now. This is not going to go any further than this moment and this point. I'm going to do this and I'm going to settle this case right now. He brings the knife. He says, split the child in half. Cut it in half. The woman who uh, claims that their child is living, give her this half. And the woman who is saying that the child, her child is dead, give her that half. And he says, neither one of you will get this living child. We're going to split this child in half. Let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. And then the king says, give her the living child and in the wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. And so we come back. This moment, I'm sure, is terrifying to both mothers. I'm sure it is heart-wrenching to both mothers. Sonny Ramson McGee, thank you for being with us on Super Saturday. The very thing that you spent nine months carrying and anticipating this child is getting ready to die. This child is getting ready to be pulled apart. This child is getting ready to be cut apart, which will surely kill this baby. What are you going to do? And so when Solomon makes the decision to cut the child in half, the mama, the real mama, steps forward and she says, don't wait a minute. Hold on for a second. Wait a minute. You cannot do that. Don't cut this baby in half. If it means that much to her, just let her have the baby. If it means that much to her, let her, even though I know this is my baby, let her have the baby so he can live. Who am I talking to on this Super Saturday? My brother, Robbie Rivers. Thank you for being with us on Super Saturday. Let her have it. I'm going to let it go so that this baby can live. Who am I talking to on this Super Saturday? You don't have to prove that you love something because your actions will give accountability for where you really are. You don't have to walk around with the M on your chest or a D on your chest for, for mom or dad, or you don't have to walk around with the W on your chest for woman and an M on your chest for I'm a man. The accountability will come in your actions. Come on, on this Super Saturday. And so the real mother said, let him have, let her have this baby. And King Solomon was sitting back and he was watching all of this because God had filled Solomon with wisdom. And he was watching all of this and he said, the real mother is the one who was willing to give the baby up. The real mother is the one who was willing to go through the accusations. The real mother. The real, the real winner here is the one who was willing to let it go so it could live. Are you hearing me on this Super Saturday? And some of us, we bicker and we fight. We, we 
do all of this stuff. We go through drama and all of this stuff and we drag people through things. Evangelist Sylvia Wynn, my sister, thank you for being with us on Super Saturday. We drag people through all of this stuff, trying to prove a point, trying to say that I'm, I'm, I'm ahead. I'm the winner. I'm the mother. I'm the real deal. I'm the boss lady. I'm the boss man. Can I tell you the anatomy of love will if, when you begin to start dissecting and looking at uh, the words and looking at what has happened and looking at what was done and, and, and taking the back seat and all of those things, that begins to show where the realness is, who the real person is, what is what you're saying really lining up with everything that you are doing on, today, on this Super Saturday. And I want to know on today, when someone begins to dissect uh, the love that you say that you have, what do they see? Do they see you making accusations? Do they see you pointing fingers? Do they see you telling lies? What do they hear you and see you and watch you doing? On today, this anatomy of love, love will cause you to Take a step back. Love will say, all right, it's not about me. Love will say this is so that somebody else can live. Love will say I'm willing to do a little bit of long suffering if that means that I have to go without in order that it means that someone else can live and grow and has the opportunity at life. What does it mean when it says that I love you or I'm expressing love. And when we begin to look at the anatomy of a mother, we begin to look at the anatomy of women. The Bible is very clear in what it says about who that uh, woman of excellence is, who that woman of uh, virtue is is who that woman that represents what God has said about us. And I just want to go to Proverbs 31 right quick. When we begin to dissect really what the woman or the mother of love is, she girdeth up her loins with strength and she has strength in her arms. She makes coverings of tapestry for herself. Now I want to go to 31 and 26. She opened her mouth with wisdom and in her tongue is the law of kindness. We're talking about the anatomy of love. She, she opens her mouth with wisdom. Her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household. And, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Who am I talking to on this Super Saturday? When you really begin to start breaking down and dissecting what love is, what motherhood is, what being a woman is all about. It's not about accusing other people. It's not about bringing judgment against other people. It's not about pointing the finger at someone else. If I've got time to do that, I'm not looking after my own household. If I'm not willing to let it go so that it can live just as this real mother uh, was in First Kings 3 and 16, if I'm not willing to say, you know what? I've got to let this thing go. I've got to stop being so harsh. I've got to stop having all of this drama in my life. I've got to stop stirring up all of this contentment and strife, not only with, um, um, with my family, but with other families. We have got to learn how to work this thing together. We have got to learn that we're all in this together. Where are my blended, where are my blended families? We're my blended moms and dads. Do you know over more than half of our families in America, in our world today are blended families? 
That means either we have, you know, children that have come from other relationships, mom and dads who have moved on to other relationships. And so we are blended in together. And the one thing that I have found in ministry and the one thing that I have found in living is that with, with our blended situations, there are people who don't want to let go so that things can move forward. Who am I talking to on this Super Saturday? We want to hold on to past hurts and grudges and, and we're not able to let it go so that others can live. Real mamas will step back and say, I want you to live. I want you to have a life. I don't want any harm to come to you. I don't want any detriment to come into your life. Real people who love, you don't have to express love with your words. You can see it with your actions. You can see what they do. The anatomy of love will bring us to seeing what people really do. Don't, don't listen to what is said. Watch what is done. Love will show you where it really is. Love will show you what it really means. Love will show you that I'm really, really the real person. I'm the real mother. I'm the one that is for you. I'm the one who's standing with you. Real love is not difficult to detect. Real love doesn't walk away. Real love fights for you. Real love will say, I, 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 I'm going to leave you here for a moment so that you can move forward in your life. With real love, all things grow. And if you really want to do a real anatomy, of your love and your relationship with others, all you have to do is check how far and what the increase has been over that other person's life because you've been there. Real love will grow a person. Real love will grow a relationship. With real love, all things grow. I didn't say that it wouldn't be difficult. I didn't say that it would be challenging. But with real lo love, you can see progression. You can see where things have gotten better. So in this situation where we're talking about today, where King Solomon has made the uh, declaration, I want to cut this baby in half. And he's now made the determination that this mother who has said, give this child to the other woman. So number one, that the accusations can go away. Number, number two, that we can stop bickering and fighting. Number three, that we don't have to stand here in the seat of judgment before King Solomon anymore. And number four, the real matter is that this baby can live. On this Super Saturday, on this Mother's Day weekend, I know I'm talking to somebody that needs to be the real mother and let what you say you love grow. Let what you say you love be able to have an opportunity to grow in grace. Who am I talking to on this Super Saturday? And the king said in verse number 27, Give this baby to the real mother. And then it says in verse number 28, and I'm in 1 Kings 3, 28. And it says, and all Israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged, and they feared the king, for they saw that the wisdom of God was in him to do judgment. And when you do real love, when you are able to give up yourself, and not make it about you. When you're able to walk away from the need of somebody to give you a title, when you're able to walk away from the need of being fulfilled by what the world and other people say you should be, I know that's good. Real love will take place. 
And not only will that happen in your life, it says when King Solomon made the determination who the real mother was, that everybody else came to know of this matter. Everybody else was able to see how unselfish this woman was. Everybody else came to know of her great love because she was willing to let go. It didn't matter to her that she didn't have the title of mother. It didn't matter to her that uh, the baby was placed in her arms. It didn't even matter to her that the, what the king was going to do. All that mattered to her was, I want to see it grow. I want to see this baby live. It's not about me in this moment. It's about this other living being. Who am I talking to on this Super Saturday? Men and women alike. Do you want to see what you say you love grow? Do you want to see what you say you love survive? Do you want to see who you say uh, you've adopted into your family? However that has happened, Gia Pritchard, my cousin, my family, thank you for being with us on Super Saturday. Do you want to see this thing live? And it doesn't matter who or what it is. Do you want to see it grow? Do you want to see it get better? Do you want to see it increase? Real love says it's not about me. Real love says, I'm not the focal point here. Real love says, it's not about what I say. It's about what I do. It's not about how, uh, what I say. It's about how I behave. Hang your hat right there. It's not about what I say. It's about how I perform. It's not about what I say, it's about how I respond to the matter. Real love, the anatomy of real love will cause us to go back and say, did I do it the right way? Did I handle this the right way? Did I express this in the right way? Real love will cause it or them or whoever or whatever to grow. So you may be in this situation today. You may have all of these things going on today. Someone's accusing you that that's mine. They belong to me. It belongs to me. You don't have to make a big fuss about it. You don't have to have a whole lot of drama surrounding it. Just show love. Stand firm in your convictions. And then everyone will know who the real mother is. Everyone will know who the real father is. Everyone will know who the real church member is. Do you, you hear what I'm saying? Everybody will know who the real neighbor is. Everyone will know love. You can't hide love. You can't hide your actions. Your words say one thing, but your actions show the true sentiment of your heart. So on this Super Saturday, on this Mother's Day weekend, don't get upset. Let's don't go through drama. Let's don't go bringing up trauma in somebody else's life. Don't go messing up somebody else's day. Don't go messing up somebody else's celebration. Just do love. And the rest will follow. If you love something, the real anatomy of love, the real truth of love, if you love something, it will grow from your touch. Linda Van Zandt, thank you for being with us on Super Saturday. If you really love something, if you really, really love something, it will grow because you are there. If you love your church, 
and you love your pastor, they will grow because you are there. Amen, somebody. If you love your family, if you love your children, they will grow because you are there. Those of you who are fur baby mamas, if you love that, that little baby puppy or cat or whatever you have, it will grow because you are there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Those of you who have adopted children into your families, they will grow because you are there. Love will make all things grow. And I want you to remember that on this Super Saturday, one, we're talking about the anatomy of love. Those of you who are in relationship with others, whether that's a friendship or whether that's a romantic relationship or whether that's from parent to child and child to parent or on your job with those that you work with. Listen, if you are there, it should get better. It should increase towards the better because you are there. When you walk into a room, are people glad that you are there or do they look the other way? When you go to attend an event or you walk into a situation, are people glad to see you? Love is gravitating. Love involves everybody. Love is inclusive. Check your love. Do an anatomy of your love today. The real person who loves will be willing to say it's not about me, but it's all about the other person. It's all about this other, this other person that's in my life. Real love will say, I'm going to decrease what I need. I'm going to wait on what I'd like to have fulfilled for myself. Real love says, I'll wait a minute so that this can go forward. Real love says, I'll decrease so that this can increase. I'll wait. I'll allow. I'll forsake myself. I'll get busy tending to my household. I'll get busy working with my hands. Love is action. Real love shows up in action and not in words. So if you want to express love, get busy doing something and close your mouth. I know that's good. Amen goes right there, Pastor Jackie. On today, let's do it with our actions and not with our words on today. Amen. 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 I hope this message has helped us to analyze love just a little bit better. I hope this message will help us to see love just a little bit, a little bit stronger. Minister Bonnie Payne, Reverend Bonnie Payne, thank you for being with us on Super Saturday. And I want to thank Reverend Bonnie Payne for being with us on our Women's Life Group uh, live Zoom session a couple of days ago. What an awesome job talking about moving forward. And on today, if you really want to move forward in love, listen, Sunday is Mother's Day. Please, let's don't give lip service. Sunday is Mother's Day. Let's do something. Amen. To express love to those who have been loving towards us on this Mother's Day weekend. I pray that you have been blessed by this message, the anatomy of love. And I want you to go back and I want you to read it for yourself. And then I want you to begin to ask the question as you begin to dissect your relationships. What have I done to show love? Not what have I said, but what have I done to show and express my love? All right. We're out of time. Cassandra Jerkins, my cousin, thank you. God bless you. Um, thank you. We're glad you're on Super Saturday on today. Let me pray with those of us who may be struggling in our love, who may be struggling in our relationships, who may be struggling just period. But God is able to fill us with grace, 
He's able to give us and equip us with love and the capacity to love on today. So let me pray for you and with you. Father, thank you for those who have heard this message on today. Today, God, we are moving forward in your love. Today, God, we are moving forward with your grace. Today, God, we are moving forward with less words and more actions. Today, God, we thank you that you loved us enough that you left us here so we could walk out what you've given us in our assignments, that we could walk it out in excellence and in grace. I pray for every man and for every woman who's heard this message on today, the anatomy of love. Help us, God, to examine where we are. Help us, God, that where we are weak, you can strengthen us and help us, God, to be stronger in you on today. We thank you. You are mighty God, and there is nothing, God, too hard for you on today. So with this prayer, God, we leave with anticipation that you're going to use us to exercise and to show forth your love on today to someone, whether it's in our families, whether it's in our neighborhood and communities, wherever, God, we are, you're going to use us to express your love for us on today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and we ask it all. Do it for us now. We love you. We thank you. Amen and amen and amen. I'm excited about what you're going to do today to express your love to someone else and how God is going to use you. Amen. He's going to make you a part of the miracle. Did you know that? He's going to make you a part of making it amazing for someone else on today only because God gives us the grace. He gives us the power. Amen. He gives us the ability and the capacity to love as we say we do. When you've heard this message on today and perhaps you have decided to come and walk in the path uh, of Jesus Christ in his standards, in his precepts, in how he has given it to us through the word. And I want to say I want to welcome you. Amen. To our circle of grace, to the kingdom, to the body of Christ. If you prayed that prayer with me and you asked Jesus into your heart today. Welcome, amen, to love. And I want to hear all about your story, your path, how you've been walking this thing out. Welcome to our family. We will love on you. Do you know that? We will become connected, amen, in God's grace and love. Send us an email to cathedralofgracechurch at gmail.com. We want to hear all about it. And perhaps you're just looking for somewhere to be connected in partnership, have a covering, amen, and people that you can walk out this grace with. We welcome you to come and be a part of our online ministry. Come on and grow with us. We'll continue to love on you. Go to livingwithgrace.org. Click on the contact us tab and we'll be connected. Amen. In fellowship, partnership and love at Cathedral of Grace Church. Let me say my friend and my sister, Lady Michelle Major, First Lady Michelle Major of the Bahamas, Nassau. We're so glad that you're with us on Super Saturday today. Amen. Give our our um, regards to Bishop as well. Amen. On today. All right. You've heard this message. If it blessed you, if you heard the word, if it pricked your heart, amen, if you're being convicted about the anatomy of love, I want us to sow on this word on today, on this super Saturday. God has blessed you to be able to love and express it in your actions on today. Many ways that you can do that. PayPal, Givelify, on our church app, our church website, in so many ways. So all of the giving options are on your screen right now. I want you to take a look at this short video, especially if you're giving for the first time. Watch this video, how you can give safely and securely. We'll be right back. Come back and join us. It's giving time at Grace. Thank you in advance for your financial support and what you will give today. Your support allows us to be the heart of Jesus, reaching and caring for those in need, providing support for the hurting and lost. There are four options available to give. Cash App, PayPal, 
Givelify, and our new Cathedral of Grace app, which may be downloaded from the Google Play Store or Apple Store. When you sow into this ministry, you are giving to God and the kingdom. On behalf of our senior pastor, Bishop Darius Key, and our circle of grace, thank you. All right, thank you so much for giving and for being with us on this Super Saturday. Again, let me thank our Grace Production team. Thank you, Bishop Darius Key. Amen. We love you. God bless you. Thank you for all that you do in Kingdom. Mama Willie, Pastor Myla, the Malik Key, Jalen, Inde, uh, Marcus, Brian. Josh, thank all of you for helping us to bring this message, amen, to everyone. Listen, let me say happy Mother's Day to everyone, amen, to everyone, to every woman, thank you. Happy Mother's Day to you. Let me celebrate my mother, First Lady Naomi Maydale Jerkins, amen. We thank God for my mother on today and all mothers everywhere, amen. Those of you who are adopted moms, Moms and spiritual moms and all the different forms of motherhood. I thank God for you on today. Join us tomorrow on Sunday, tomorrow, 1230 for a special Mother's Day event. Lady Monsell Belcher, thank you for being with us on Super Saturday. Uh, join us for a special Mother's Day tribute and service on tomorrow. I want all mamas to meet us at 2728 Wesley Chapel Road. All daddies too. <laughs> 2728 Wesley Chapel Road in Decatur, Georgia. Or you could join us online for our services on tomorrow. But we've got something special for all all mothers who are in the sanctuary with us on tomorrow, don't you miss it. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you got to be there to receive it. And it's going to be great. So come on and be with us on tomorrow for our Mother's Day celebration. Listen, come back on Wednesday morning. Join us for our 15 minutes of prophetic intercessory prayer time. You just don't want to miss it. Amen. Let me thank Minister Rhonda um, pain for being with us on Wednesday and leading us into prayer. Thank you, Minister Payne, for being with us. Wednesday night, join us at 7 p.m. for Straight Talk, Straight Answers Bible Study. Bishop Darius Key is going to facilitate the word for us on Wednesday night. Amen. And if God says the same, I'll be back with you on next Saturday at 8 a.m., bright and early for Super Saturday. So don't just come. Bring somebody with you so we can enjoy dialogue and conversation in God's word together. I tell you what, it has been an amazing day. Don't forget to continue to show your love and not say your love on this super Saturday. All right. Well, as we always say in closing, wash your hands. Don't touch your face, wear your mask, continue on with all forms of vaccinations and boosters. And as always, always keep walking in love and in God's grace.